Hey, welcome back to the WWJW show. I'm uh, Captain Homie. Robbie Rob. Little man. And we're here. It's Saturday, uh, January 22nd. And we're going to just uh, do like we do. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. So, what is going on? We just want a little bit of change of scenery real quick, you know? Behind us, we got going kind of our little studio section where we hook up the videos and get them ready for your viewing. Last week, we had some uh, pretty bad mudslides going on. Send our prayers out to the families and uh, such. We we're just praying that, that uh, those people get the help that they need. Love your neighbor as yourself. So that, that was last week. Last week, this week, we got some, some good stuff coming at you. But we're going to go ahead and give it to you right after this introduction. <laughs> Check it out, in the news this week, we're talking about, y'all of course know we just had CES 2011, the Consumer Electronics Show, and uh, that's, you know, when all the different manufacturers come out and just basically show off what I they got coming. I didn't know that. You know that? No, they do that every year. Now you know they do it every year. Can you buy the product? You can buy the product once it's released, they oh. give you the release date, <laughs> they show you the new technology. Oh, okay. But there's the top five gadget list that they just kind of released that people have really been anticipating. I think I'm actually anticipating myself a few gadgets off of that list. But the first one we're going to go ahead and talk about is the first laptop completely powered by Google Chrome. Oh, this yeah. laptop is basically internet based. Google has the whole uh, operating system for the smartphones, but now they want to kind of expand to computers and we, we all knew it was only a matter of time. Yeah. Um, before they did that, but this computer, because it's web-based, it's mainly supposed to run web-based applications, and it's really supposed to be a lot faster. As soon as you open it hit up, hit that power button, turn boom, it on. it's on. You're right online. You're on the internet. So that's hot. They haven't given it to any specific manufacturers yet, so it'll be interesting to see. It's still it's going through its testing process. They got some people out there using. You see, of course, their uh, Google TV software was uh, licensed with uh, Sony to make the uh, first internet TVs powered by Google. The second, the Nintendo three. 3DS. Yes, the Nintendo 3DS is now revamped. It has a 3D screen and you do not need glasses for it. No glasses? Right. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Yep. So I can take say, these off. Is he 3D? No. <laughs> no? Oh. You oh, see. the 3D right, no, glasses. No, no 3D glasses yeah, are necessary. You just, it just fools with your eyes so everything looks 3D. Pretty awesome technology and advancements. And I also heard uh, from this CES 2011 that they're going to be coming out with some TVs in a couple of years that will incorporate uh, a glassless experience. Definitely a gadget that people are looking for. On the list for number three, we got Chevy Volt. 2.0. It will run on electric. Plus, they're talking about it might run on some diesel fuel. I, I need something car. full size, you know what I'm saying? But, it's yeah. interesting that this car is on the gadget list. I think it's mainly because it's so souped up with like internet like features. I mean, you look inside the car, you see, you know, TVs, monitors, all kind of little gadgets going on inside. So, um, I but, think that really what makes this car stand out amongst the rest. No, that's how it makes it stand out. What made it stand out is it's going to be affordable. You know they are making they have, Yeah, they talked about um, the 1.0, and you definitely want to keep your eye out for this vehicle and any other vehicles that may be kind of fully loaded with these type of capabilities. Taking advantage of all the gadgets that you might currently have. And then on number four on the list, we got the BlackBerry Playbook. The BlackBerry Playbook. Yes. Is that like a pop-out book where you flip the pages? It's made from BlackBerry. Everybody kept down talking about BlackBerry, but BlackBerry's still on the list in the gadgets. <laughs> they still moving up. BlackBerry definitely needs something to take the you focus off of their handheld devices. Well, I won't uh, talk about this phone, but this phone does make me mad sometimes. <laughs> yeah, see. BlackBerry, I own a BlackBerry, so I'm happy to see they're on the list. But, uh, uh, I mean, it's supposed to be competitively priced versus <laughs> the iPads and the Galaxy tabs. and the more uh, 
expensive tabs that are out on the market. About 20% of uh, the Americans have a uh, tablet PC by the year 2014, so they're yeah. trying to get in on some of that action because that's a pretty big market right now. Keep in <laughs> mind that the uh, BlackBerry app market itself is not really versed on flavor. <laughs> I will we have here. jokes and it's not even a joke yet. So consider all the features that you're going to get with the BlackBerry Playbook if that's an item that you're interested in. Coming in number five, we have the iPad 2. It's going to be a lot more affordable according to Apple. It's supposed to be more affordable, it's supposed to have more features. If you if you like the iPad, um, then you'll probably like the iPad 2. The iPad 2 is going to be a little bit easier in your pocket. Uh, it's supposed to have more additional features. So that was your top five list of the gadgets that are being anticipated for uh, 2011. Yes. This week's screw up that blew up. Somebody did something real goofy and everybody found out about it in the wrong lane on the road. But I cannot say that I have had this experience. Go ahead and check this out. <laughs> and trying to walk away as if nothing happened, things could happen and you never know. Bring her back her this week. The bring her back her. We all know that shoes like the Jordans and stuff like that just have dominated the market as popular shoes. But I'm gonna keep it real with you. You may have seen every Jordan that ever came out, but I guarantee you, you have never had a pair of shoes like these shoes right here. There's a platform stage, people primping, pimping, sharp as razor blades. Yo, check out homeboy. See Dominic's brother out there, huh? <laughs> Look at the fish in his shoes. <laughs> Girl, he must be a rock star. <laughs> now who remembers that? Oh wow, wow, yes. classic. I'm gonna get you sucker if you did not know where that clip came from. Was it old uh, Wayans Brothers? Was that like the first parody that they yeah. ever did? Yeah, that was, wow, yeah, that was exactly. great. So the guy came out in some fish tank shoes. I guess he really thought that, that was an idea. Yeah. And it had to be glass? Glass. Come on, y'all seen how he's going down the steps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping it real, man. I will rock some fish tank shoes, I'm telling you, oh with a big emblem on a big chain with just like a, a little globe or something with a little neon fish or some, something in that jaw. Just swimming around. Okay, moving on. I'm telling you, keep it real, the whole sweat. <laughs> no. Fishes in, fishnet stockings. Fish. What? <laughs> If you were wearing some fish and some fishnet stockings, Woo! you would be hmm. the coolest. Flabbergasted. I'm telling you, <laughs> everybody will be after man, your that outfit. Is ludicrous. What's up, Francis L. Jr.? Hey, you gotta get up here, man, so we can do some fishing, dude. <laughs> okay, the joke of the week is what happens to you when you don't pay your exorcist? Spooky, uh, I don't know. You get repossessed. <laughs> 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 Wait a minute. What? Could you get that off of one of them little popsicle sticks after you eat the you get the, you get the, the you get the joke and then you gotta no, eat the popsicle not. to get the answer? So she got that right. <laughs> What happens when you don't pay the exorcist? You get repossessed. I hope that didn't hit home for uh 
<laughs> Anybody who might have got their yeah. car repossessed this week. Yeah. Um, yes. Question of the week. We want to know what was your most embarrassing moment. Tell us about your most embarrassing moment. One that you're willing to share. And uh, make sure that it's something uh, WWJW friendly. Email us, Facebook us. Whatever it means yeah, I can't you would wait like to, to get it to us, we're definitely to anxious. Yep. Start cracking yes. over some uh, very interesting, embarrassing moments. If you did send us something last week, you will see yourself here in a few seconds. But of course, before we go, we always like to leave you oh, with a jingle. I about that. I did too. So the song we are going to sing this week uh, was first introduced to us by a group called Free Chapel. Mm -hmm. was also remade by individuals such as Israel and uh, Hezekiah Walker. Um, but the song was introduced by the Free Chapel and it goes as such. I'm not going back, I'm moving ahead, I'm here to declare to you, my past is over in you, all things are made new, surrender my Two. Two. We enjoyed having you. Yes. Hope to see you next week. All right.